What's up, guys? Ooh, I'm on. I look good. Hold on. My look from last night would not be complete without a little bit of glitter. There. Boom. All right, guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Zenobia Darling. I am here. I'm not hungover, but let's just say I'm living a rock star life today because I was out till four last night because I went to see Kesha and Betty Who. I love Betty Who, but... You know, Kesha and me have a very, she's a very special place in my heart. I fucking love Kesha. So before we begin, don't forget guys, my book, hashtag Rockstar Life, Diary of Zenobia Darling, Punk Rock Drag Superstar, that's me, is available on Amazon. The link is below. Make sure you buy it, read it, support me, support the channel. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, so I thought this topic, you know, there was, there's a, there was a lot of things to talk about from the Kesha concert. I mean, the whole... You know, I kind of had a build up to it that I love. Oh, I love it. Everything is covered in glitter and it's just, it feels right. It just feels like Kesha is blessing this video. So with that, I'm going to dive deep. So I want to address last week. I, you know, I did take a little hiatus from the YouTube. Just uh, the past few weeks have been really mentally trying on me. Um, I just kind of, you know, I didn't get an audition that I, um, that I actually got. I mean, I got pretty far in the audition process and I thought I had it and I didn't get it. And, you know, when that happens, I mean, I'm an actor, I'm used to it. I, you know, but I had to take a little bit of time out just to kind of like, you know, recenter myself, remember that I am Zenobia motherfucking darling. And the show always goes on and I'm always going to be me. So I just had to like take a little break out and to kind of pull me out of the funk, my best friend, um, surprised me with Kesha tickets because Kesha was playing in DC and I've, I'm in, um, sorry, I just got my coffee water all over my notebook, which, whatever. So, uh, she surprised me with um, tickets to see Kesha in D.C. at some venue called The Anthem, which was actually, like, really fucking a cool anthem. Like, you know, and this was, like, the first show that I went to after the pandemic. Like, you know, so I haven't been... The last concert I went to was... I can't even remember the last concert. I mean, I'm a person who goes to concerts pretty right. I mean, I'm a theater kid. You know, a concert is theater, you know... I've, I've seen all the pop divas. I mean, I've seen Gaga eight or nine times. I've seen Britney a few times. This is my second time seeing Kesha. You know, I like I like going to concerts. So that was, you know, that's kind of my favorite theater thing. And not only that, I am a performer. I, you know, I'm a rock star. And, you know, I it, it's funny because this time was the first time, like, we're walking in the wharf in DC, like looking at the anthem and they have all the names on the marquee. And I looked at my friend, I was like, you know, I I'm not just being delusional when I say like one day that's going to be me up there. Like that's going to have, that's going to have Zenobia Darling up there. And, and like, I'm just like, you know, I, I give it like five years and honestly it's going to happen because that's what I want to do. I love performing and seeing those shows like that, just like really just like, like, last night I say, like, Kesha came to a Zenobia Darling show because, you know, I love Kesha and I perform Kesha songs a lot. I mean, I've done, it's ever, ever, We Are Who We Are and Cannibal are two songs that are in my performing rotation. And she performed both of them. And I will tell you, there was some girl in the audience, if you're watching, hi, hon, um, who, during We Are Who We Are, I started actually, like, doing my performance routine. You know, this is what I wore last night, so I don't have the eyeliner on, but, I mean, it's my look. I just, you know, bleached out my hair. It's ghost white, you know, and this jacket is a Zenobia Darling Original custom, you know, black light, glitter. It's punk as fuck. You know, I got a lot of compliments on it. I made it myself, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm a painter and I'm a drag queen and, you know, what's better than this? It looks very Pat Field. I love it. I got a lot of compliments, so... You know, so I was, I know I felt hot and I was performing because I was like, you know, it's fucking Kesha. And I was like four, I was four rows back from the stage, you know, moshing, dancing, performing. And some girl like started watching me perform. And then I went over and I was like, follow me. And she did. So hi, hon. I hope you're watching. I might've said that already, but whatever. Let's just roll. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I didn't get home till four last night. And this is like what a true rock star life is like. People think it's, oh, fun and games. It's now 1.08 in the afternoon. I woke up probably an hour ago. I didn't go to bed. I didn't fall asleep till like five, like the sun was coming up. And I came up and I'm doing this video and I'm doing a bonus episode that'll be out this weekend after this. So, you know, and then I got to edit something and then I got to write my book. So, I mean, the, the show goes on and the rock star life continues and 
But hey, I love it. I'll fucking love it. So at the Kesha concert, there was a lot. There was a lot of uh, a lot of people watching that you know. I, I'm I love I absolutely love. So there was a lot of you know DCs or the DMVs gayest finest trash was there. I mean I loved it. I know I on the metro. Um, my best friend lives in Silver Spring, so we got on the Silver Spring metro. You know, I look like this. My friend looked like, you know, the, kind of like a punk version of, like, Alanis Morissette, who, like, ugh, with a Betty Who shirt on. She's fucking amazing. I, I love that bitch. My best friend. And um, and I love Betty Who, too. And um, so there were these two... I think they were a couple, but these two um, clearly lesbians, and they were, they were the cutest couple. Glitter on their eyes. One had full Zach Bagans hair, which I fucking loved. I mean, I was like, oh... You know, Zach Bagans, there was, like, kind of the faux hawk thing with the... You know, yeah, I love that shit. And they are like, you're going to Kesha concert. And it's like, oh, yeah, how can you tell? I mean, I was, like... I covered myself in glitter, like, normal. You know, looking like a fucking superstar that I am. And, you know, so that right off the bat, I was like, I'm... This is down. So go there. There's a lot of... A lot of men wearing crop tops. I... I'm all for that. I'm all for body positivity. But I know with me, I am so self-conscious about my stomach. I mean... I was a little kid and I had a lot of people say I was fat and chunky and like point out my stomach and say you need to do crunches. So I would never wear a crop top unless I have surgery. So, but I'm glad everyone else did. I was very impressed by that. There were a lot of, a lot of the, it was weird. There was a weird mix of the gays. So DC gays are not my fave. They're notoriously not my fave just because they're, they're preppy. They're very judgy. A lot of them were there. And then there were the trash fags. I can say that word because I identify as a trash fag. There were a lot of us and I was the king of them. And let me tell you, we had some fun. We had some absolute fun. There was some other girl who was just, she was drunk, living her fantasy neck, you know, behind us. She kept wanting us to sing with her. And I'm, I'm like, this is amazing. You know, and of course I'm agitating her. So Kesha was, after she sung praying, Kesha started crying. And the thing I got, I was like, fuck Dr. Luke, I love you, Kesha. I screamed it. And I think Kesha heard it. And then that girl started, and I kind of feel bad because I know, like, that is some sexual trauma with Kesha that like, you know, I felt bad talking about, but I kind of want to get that girl agitated. And Kesha heard me. And then the other girl was like, fuck Dr. Luke, fuck Dr. Luke. Started screaming it, which cracked me up. And I looked, I was like, got her agitated. Well, I was trying to get her kicked out because she was kind of annoying everybody. But, you know, I digress. I digress. I mean, I'm a bad kid. So then afterwards, let's see, what else? Oh, Kesha talked about secrets. So, I mean, I lived in D.C. I mean, I know what secrets is. I've been there. You know, secrets was fun. I mean, the first time I've ever been to secrets, I walked in and some go-go boy was getting jerked off on the bar and completely came. It was... It was amazing. I love secrets. And, you know, I know some of the dancers there, too. I, if you want to talk about closed DC clubs, my favorite was Town. I have so many memories of Town. Town, to me, has the memories of, like, the limelight for the club kids. Like, I loved going there and dancing till four and then going to the pizza place next door. Like, so if they want to talk about, if Kesha want to talk about closed DC clubs... You know, Secrets is fine, but Town was better because Town, Town, you could just dance. Like, that's the thing. People don't dance anymore. Like, last night, like, I danced all during Betty Who and all do, during Kesha, and I feel like I worked out, and I love it. And if you're up dancing all night, you don't gotta go to the gym. Just saying. So, people wanna know how I stay fit? It's because I fucking perform and I dance. And, I, you know, I don't need to go to the gym. I walk everywhere, I lift weights, and I do push ups crunches, I wear a waist trainer, and I perform. And there's my workout routine. So, I'm gonna end this with... Actually, let me talk about Kesha. Because I actually have a personal reason why I love Kesha so much that I actually feel comfortable talking about. So, in 2013, I saw her Warrior Tour. And it was... I was August 2013. I was the sickest I've ever been. I talk about it a lot in my book. Like, that August specifically, because I almost died. I was I was that sick with my eating disorder. And I, I saw her in the beginning of August, and then the end of August, I was checking into an eating disorder treatment center. And then cut to, um, cut down, cut to a few months later, everything, Kesha had to be checked into treatment, and it was all in the tabloids. And I remember being in a hospital bed. Literally, I had horrible refeeding syndrome, which, you know, you can Google about eating disorder. It's when your body 
It's where your body's getting used to eating again and your metabolism speeds up and it messes with your body chemistry and your electrolytes and you can, I got pretty sick. I mean, it was rough. It was rough. I mean, the night sweats from that and just my heart rate, it was crazy. And I kept laying in a hospital bed and I, and I kept telling myself like, you know, Kesha is going through the exact same thing. She just checked into a eating disorder treatment center and she is dealing with the exact same thing I'm dealing with. And if Kesha can do it, I can do it. And so every day I would always turn Kesha's songs on because it made me feel good. And she she's very healing. She's very healing in her music and her lyrics. And, you know, not, not to bring the mood down, but I mean, this is this is the real, this is why I love Kesha so much. And because she, she really got me through it. I mean, her music and just knowing that she was going through the same thing. And, you know, in this October, I'll have eight years in recovery from eating disorder. And, you know, I have Kesha to thank from that. And... You know, and Kesha now, she's so happy. She looks so good. She's so healthy. You can tell she got her glow back. And I feel like I got my glow back. So this concert really meant a lot to me. And especially because the last few weeks have been fucking trying. Just going to see Kesha, just like, it just made me realize, like, I'm still Zenobia motherfucking darling, you know? I can be Kesha. And Kesha, I remember going to that show, the Warrior concert in August. I looked at my friend. I was like, I can do that. I can do what Kesha's doing. And... I mean, come, you know, eight years later, you know, I'm in recovery. I have a bachelor's degree in theater. I have, I'm a drag performer with, with titles from the Kennedy Center. So, you know, it won't be long and I'll be performing at the Anthem just like Kesha. So I'm going to end this video with a little thing that happened afterwards. So afterwards, you know, it's a madhouse at the wharf. Me and my friend find a bar like a little bit down from, down on the waterfront. And, of course, it's full of Kesha people. I mean, everyone's covered in glitter and dancing and being, you know, trashy messes, which I love. So we get the beer and we're sitting outside, um, kind of on the, there's like the, the water with all the yachts and the boats. And then um, it's kind of like the walkway. And then there's like all the bars and stuff. So we were outside and there was like a group of like six people, uh, six girls who are our age. Hi girls, if you're watching, I love you. I'll send you my, the one I'm sending my thesis to, or two I'm sending my thesis to today. So that's on my to-do list today. So hi, if you're watching. Um, so we're all sitting there, like, they were on a table, and me and my friend were over here, and we're talking, all of a sudden, a fight breaks out. So apparently some ex-wife and an ex-husband show up at the same bar, and the one girl flips out, and he goes up and, like, is screaming at, like, you need to fucking leave, and they get the bouncers involved, and the bouncer goes to kick the guy out, and the guy's like, you're a fucking pussy, and starts, like, yelling and fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there, like, I could tell, like, everyone else is freaked out. I'm like, where's the popcorn? I love this shit. I mean, I was saying, they were over there on the sidewalk. We were, like, like, towards the building, fucking watching it. And then the bouncer fucking shoves the guy, and he falls backwards and breaks his glass. And then, and then a group of, like, the, the, the whole posse, they all start fighting, and it gets a fucking brawl. Like, a Vanderpump Rules-level brawl. And I'm sitting there watching it, like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I love this shit. So then afterwards, that's when we looked over at the table and they were like, did you catch that? I'm like, fuck yeah, we did. And then we went over and we made friends and oh my God, it was so good. I mean, you know, a fight and some guy like knocked out, like punched some girl like in, in the stomach and then like a bunch of people, oh, it was crazy. And I'm just, you know, I'm sitting back there watching it because I, mm, I haven't, oof, I love that shit. I just, mm, mm, some Vanderpump Rules shit. So with that, I'm going to end this. Guys, remember, like, uh, you know, what, what, what I was say? Oh, yeah, sorry. My, you can tell my voice and, you know, I'm a little, oh, I'm going to probably have a nap later. But, you know, and also I will tell you, I mean, that I think that was, that's going to be the last show where I'm mosh pitting because I feel like I got hit by a bus today. I mean, afterwards, whew, I'm just, I'm getting a little too old for it. I'm getting a little too old to do it without drugs. I don't, you know, I don't really do, I mean, I, I mean, drugs are cool, but, you know, it is what it is. I think... You know, I'm just saying, I'm a little too old. For, I'm either going to be sitting down or I'm going to be fucking on the stage. So know that. So with that, I'm going to end it. Remember, like and subscribe. Follow me on social medias. Buy my book, hashtag Rockstar Life. And with that, I'm going to go shoot a bonus video about this weekend. And I will see you next week. Mwah.